Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. My name's Aaron, and today I wanted to show you how to make some DIY root tabs for your planet aquarium. Some of you may be wondering what a root tab even is. Basically, root tabs contain necessary nutrients needed in order for your plants to grow their fastest and look their best. They can be found in the form of a stick, capsule, or tablet. Root tabs that can be found at your local pet store or online, however, can become quite pricey in the long run. So for those on a budget or any smart shopper, DIY root tabs are a great option essentially doing the exact same thing for a much, much cheaper price. Apart from their cheap price and amazing payout, another great thing about going the DIY route is you only need two things in order to make them. Plant fertilizer such as Osmocote Plus and Double Zero MD Gelatin Capsules. While you don't need to use Osmocote Plus as your plant fertilizer, it is a great option as it contains macro and micronutrients, whereas other fertilizers may not. Osmocote Plus contains a small amount of copper, and because of this, it may not be safe for tank inhabitants like shrimp and snails, as copper is poisonous to invertebrates. That being said, I have a mono shrimp and nearite snails in my aquarium, along with Osmocote Plus DIY root tabs, and everyone is doing just fine. Always do your research when choosing a brand of fertilizer, and always check out the ingredients. Once you have your capsules and plant fertilizer, all you need to do is pull open your capsule and scoop some of the fertilizer inside. Once it's full, put your capsule back together and you're finished. Now you have a root tab. In order to use your DIY root tab, simply place them as deep down into the substrate as you possibly can. This will prevent nutrients from leaching out into the water column, potentially causing an algae bloom. I wouldn't recommend more than at maximum eight in a heavy planted 20 gallon aquarium, as adding too many will cause an algae bloom. Place them only near or right under your heavy root feeder plants, such as crypts and swords. Other plants with smaller roots, such as pearl weed, will do better with liquid fertilizers dosed directly into the water column. After adding your new root tabs, you should notice results in just about a week. Replace every few months or when you stop seeing results. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something, and if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It literally means the world to me and makes everything worth it. Check out my other social media in the description, leave your opinion in the comments below, and have a great day.